Hello everyone, we will continue that topic. IDOX, in the previous videos, we created message type, IDOC type, segment type, and inbound function module. In this video, we will start with IDOC settings. And as a part of IDOC settings, we will cover two things. One is port and another is partner number. Most, most important terminologies again in IDOC. Firstly, we will start with port. What is port? A port defines the technical link between a sender and a receiver system. A port defines the technical characteristics between a sender and a receiver system. Before we jump onto the port, firstly, we should understand why, why we have a concept of port in the real world. Suppose I will take one example. I am the sender and there is a receiver who is taking my request. Suppose I am going for three different types of request. One is HTTP request, another is HTTPS, means HTTP secure request, another is FTP request, means file transfer request. I have three different requests. I am going for three different requests. How these three different requests will reach to the receiver? They will travel through three different ports or we can say they will travel through three different communication channel. HTTP request will go through different port or communication channel. HTTPS request will go through different port or communication channel. FTP request will go through different port or communication channel. They may or may not reach the receiver at the same time. That's not a concern, but depends upon the type of request. We have different, different port or communication channel. Just see how important it is. You are distributing the traffic depends upon the type of request. All HTTP requests will go to one port. All HTTPS requests will travel through one another communication channel. All FTP requests will travel through different communication channel or port. So just see we are distributing the traffic and the same same concept if we will compare in SAP how, how port are helping us. If we will see the significance of port in IDOC processing. So ports act as a communication channel to send the IDOCs. Just we'll go for simple example. We have 10 different systems. We have 10 different, suppose I'm saying non-SAP system and we have one SAP system. Now these 10 system are connecting to SAP system. So now first system is connecting to SAP system. We are generating the IDOCs using different port. Second system is connecting to SAP system and the IDOCs are generating using different port. So depends upon different, different types of system. We have different, different ports and just see we are distributing that traffic. Yes, ultimately IDOX will be in the SAP system, but we have different, different ports to distribute the traffic. Depends upon the sender, we are creating different, different ports in the SAP system. And just see how impactful the port is. Now, if I want to create a port in SAP, so we have a dedicated transaction code and that transaction code is WE21. So I will go to WE21 transaction code. Now 
title itself is saying this transaction code is for the ports in IDOC processing. Now we have so many types of ports are available. Out of these types of port, we will always, always use these two types of port. One is transactional RFC port and another is file port. We will always, always use these two types of port. And many times, rather than transactional RFC, people will use the term TRFC port. Now we will understand what these two types of port are. TRFC port or you can say transactional RFC port. We can create a TRFC port only only for those destinations which are defined in SM59. We all know SM59 is the transaction code for RFC destination or we can say RFC connection. Suppose if I will go to SM59 transaction code. In this transaction code, we can define the RFC connection or RFC destination. So whatever the RFC connections or RFC destinations you will define here only for those RFC destinations, we can create a TRFC port. So if you want to create a TRFC port for any of the sender, just you, the entry first should be in the SM59 transaction code. Now, if I will come on to second type of port, the second type of port is file port, file port. Just remember, whenever we will talk about files in case of SAP, we have one dedicated transaction code which we covered in file handling at application layer. The transaction code is AL11. In this AL11, we have so many directories and in these directories, we can put the file, we can write the file. So if we are going for file port, if we are going for file port, it means whatever the IDOC file will generate, we will can put into this AL11 directory. In this any of the AL11 directories, Yes, we can put that particular IDOC file which will generate. Once you will put the IDOC file into these directories, yes, other system or I can say middleware, we can simply, simply pick the file from there. We already have a dedicated playlist file handling on application server. At that time, we covered how to put a file into these particular directories. So if you are going for file port, so in case of file port, whatever the IDOCs, whatever the IDOCs file will generate, we will simply, simply put into this AL11 directory and middleware or depends upon the requirement, we will simply, simply pick the file from this particular directory. So if I will read the theory of these two types of port, TRFC port stands for transactional port or I can say transactional RFC port. Here we can only go for the ports where for them the RFC destination defined in SM59. If you are going for file port, in case of file port, we will simply, simply pull, put the IDOC file into the particular directory. And what is the transaction code for the directories? AL11. So if you are going for file port, we can specify the directory of AL11 where our IDOC file will be placed or other system or middleware will simply, simply pick the file from there. 
now what is the summary of the video but we covered in this particular video we covered that port is very important because it is a part of idoc settings we need to go for idoc settings so what is port it is acts as a technical link between a sender and a receiver with the help of port port acts as a communication channel to send the idoc and why we are going for port so that we can distribute the traffic if you have 30 or 35 sender we should go for 35 different different ports so that we can distribute that traffic we have two most important types of port transaction code is we21 trfc port which is called as transactional port yes we can only go for trfc power port for those destinations which are defined in SM59. And the second type of port is file port. If we are going for file port, so in AL11 directory, we can put the IDOC file, whatever is getting generated, and any system or middleware can pick the file from there itself. So that's it in this video. In the next video, we will learn the practical part of how to create a TRFC port and how to create a file port. Thank you.